Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and I got a quick public service announcement for you. Uh, the one, as you guys probably are all aware, if you logged into the game, we got top grossing in both iTunes and in the Google Play Store. So we got a reward of 56 stones for each top grossing, which comes out to 112 stones. So make sure you log in and collect those rewards. Second, we got uh, the Broly Legendary Banner coming up uh, per in-game news, so that should be a thing. I'm assuming that they're going to have the, the, the Gohan and the Vegeta aren't going to be featured units. It's probably going to be what they did last time. LR Broly is probably going to be featured, and then they're going to have those two units available to pull from if you want to try your luck there. Uh, we don't know what the raids are going to be, but it's probably just going to be the Broly as a featured unit and then a couple other cards. Uh, it might not be worth summoning for you unless you want to try and get prepped for the World Tournament. You know, it also brings up an interesting question. Are they going to start doing this before every World Tournament? Because, you know, a lot of people want to grind out the World Tournament, and the LR Broly is perfect for grinding the World Tournament. They might start bringing this back before every World Tournament comes around. That being said, the World Tournament is coming around and should be available this weekend for five days. Um, I plan on doing a World Tournament team building guide, or at least giving you ideas of what the optimal teams are for AoE with the most damage output, uh, and the quickest way to actually defeat the World Tournament. So I'll be going over a whole bunch of teams, and uh, I'm going to try and bring up at least one or two teams that you can create if you do not have AoE units. It's definitely not optimal, but you will at least be able to grind the mission rewards. And that goes for everyone right now, too, who's listening to this. I recommend grinding out the mission rewards. Mission rewards are really awesome. You don't need to do the full grind fest to try and place, but go for the mission rewards so that way you actually get some good items and good support for the game. Especially those orbs. Those orbs come in really handy and will help you get your characters maxed out so you can take on events a lot easier. With that being said, grind fest, guys. It's all been nothing but a grind fest since the second year anniversary has started. Remember, grind out all the Dokken Fests that you possibly can. There's going to be a whole bunch of half stam Dokken events that are always available during their typical days. Um, one I did want to bring up just to mention is the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku one. Now, his Dokken event specifically, it typically costs 40 stamina. It's called Surpassing All, by the way, and it's level 2 ultimate finishing move. Uh, so, essentially, this one, th these medals are required in order to Dokken Awaken. The Super Saiyan Goku, the um, the one that is grindable from the Epic Battle event. Once he gets up to Super Saiyan, you're going to need three medals per card in order to Dokken Awaken him. Now, the reason you're going to want to do this is because it could feed into the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku 120 lead if you plan on going for him. And you're going to need, uh, let's see, it's going to be three times nine cards. You're going to need at least 27 medals for you to grab, uh, to Dokken Awaken all of them. So you're going to have to run the event 27 times. Now, typically, you know, you have at 40 stamina, um, but right now it's only at 20 stamina, so it's only 540 stamina. So go ahead and do the math based off how much stamina you have. Now, uh, I mean, you, a typical stamina, you're going to double that. It's going to cost you 10, I mean, 1,080 stamina in order to run that event. Make sure you take advantage of it now, so that way you get the medals. Even if you don't have those Gokus, but you plan on grinding them in the future, right now is the time you should grind that Dokkan event out, so that way you can get it. Uh, what else do I want to talk about here? Um, GT events, make sure you go out and grind the GT events so that way you get all the Hercule badges and the GT apples. For the Hercule badges, you're going to be doing the Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Finale. Uh, stage 1 is the best way to grind the Her Hercule badges. You can get up to like 400 at a time or less. I mean, I'm sorry, or more, depending on how it lands. Essentially, there's no stops, uh, but I think you have a max dice of 3. And as long as you follow the path I think I told you before, you go left and then right uh, on Z Heart you'll be able to get a whole bunch of Hercule badges. Uh, there's going to be a couple Chi-Chi items there also, but the Chi-Chi items are freaking amazing. I think, I believe, and this is just off the top of my head, it's like attack and defense of the enemy minus 93% uh, or something like that, so she's super freaking useful. Um, the one thing I'm also going to say is, not don't just grind that stage 1. Grind out stages 3 and 4. Stage 3, you get Gohan, the tech Gohan, and stage 4, you get the intelligence trunks. Uh, those two cards will Dokken Awaken into Super Saiyans. They're really good for extreme teams that you have Broly if you're going to run an extreme leader. They're good at really good linking buddies in case you don't have anyone else to link with him on an extreme team. At the end, but the only other thing about that is, while you're grinding out those two cards to get them to Super Attack 10, there are also Hercule badge drops. I got like more than half of the store purchased by grinding those guys out. By the time I got on Super Attack 10, I only had a couple things left. Um, then you also have Stage 6 where you're going to grind out the, the actual badges for uh, or the medals forward to Dogen Awake and some additional cards. But make sure you do that grind. Uh, and then we also have the other GT event. I'm scrolling down to it right now for the for the actual GT Metal Apples. So that the actual name is Dragon Ball GT Black Star DB Saga. Uh, it is going to be, okay, uh, Enigmatic Planet M2. 
that's where you're going to grind all your metals for the actual, uh, for, for the Baba store, so that way you can get them, get, purchase the cards. Uh, Enigmatic uh, Planet M2 uh, drops up to 400 metal apples, so you're going to want to go ahead and grind that out. Uh, that way you can purchase all the other store rewards. Oh, before I forget, um, I also wanted to mention that the Epic Battle Arrives Other World Challengers. Um, so, I was actually lucky because uh, over the weekend I ended up uh, pulling the Kaioken Blue Goku, or the Blue, uh, the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku card. So I got super lucky with that. He's now in my box, I got him Z Awakened, I got him up to Super Attack 5, I plan on getting him to Super Attack 10, I, that's why I gotta do all those grinds for the GT events. But I did want to state, um, make sure you grind this, these stages out, the stage where you get the medals out. First off, you want to get the medals. But second off, if you guys are lacking Zenny, that Z Awaken Goku, while I still want to get mine to Super Attack 10, um, and then Doken Awaken him, it, it's not really that great of a card. But, but, the Z Awaken base form of him sells for 1 million points. Alright, now one thing I did want to state, because I saw this all over Facebook, I don't know about the Reddit, but I know all over Facebook. I kept on seeing people say, oh, feed him into the, the Spirit Pump Goku, feed him into this Goku, feed him... He doesn't feed into any other Goku. He doesn't. He only feeds into the other agility uh, Goku Angel card, and that's the one that you grind from the event, the epic battle event, the one that's free, that one that starts you, that starts you off with the game, where you get that rare technique Goku. That's the only other base form Angel Goku card in the game at this time. If you want to keep him because you think that in the future we're going to get a base one, then you know what, by all means keep him. But ideally, in terms of what's available right now and what's been available on JP, there are no other base form Goku cards, Angel Goku cards, that you could feed this card into. My opinion is, I mean, it's not really worth it. It's really good for grinding, I mean, for yeah, grinding up Zenny. I did want to also thank, uh, let's see, HC Tech underscore tech from the Reddit made a post about it. Apparently, the Z hard path in t and when you go up against Goku in the Paiku Han and Kaioken Goku event, the Z hard drops more Goku medals and hard drops more Goku cards. So if you're hurt on Zenny, run that on hard. Well, one, it's less stamina. And two, one million Zenny per card drop. So you're going to go ahead and grind up those Goku cards and just sell, 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 sell so that way you get your Zenny. The reason why you run out of Zenny is because you want to Z awaken the SRs into SSRs so that way you can feed them into raised uh, super attacks and other cards with other characters. I just did that with a whole bunch. Like I got my uh, Android 18 future to super attack 9. I got all my Gohans, the Super Saiyan Gohan adult ones. I got all of them to super attack 10 now. And I got a whole bunch of other things going on. So that, that's just grind fest. Grind fest everywhere, but it's kind of worth it. Also, just remember, on the weekends, I know it just kind of passed, so it's kind of, you know, irrelevant. I think we have one more weekend left. Make sure you run those medal events. Right now, the medal events are open, and there are no stops because it's a special. So, you can go in, there's a whole bunch more medals on the floor, and you can pick up a whole bunch. I usually go in there for the silver medals, because those are the hardest ones when it comes to z waking the SRs to try and grind grind up Super Attack. But, that's it for now. Stay tuned for this week for the World Tournament Building Guide, for the Super Saiyan 4 Building Guide. Uh, I believe there's like one or two things that I also wanted to do, but I'll be going over that at a different point when I remember. But thank you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I'll catch you guys in the next video.